And sir, I am. I don't mean to sound like I'm being mean, um, but I got a mean voice. And when a woman sounds mean, people, oh my, she's a nasty thing. She yelled at me. No, sir, I've seen too many people play their games. I'm not talking about you, okay? I believe you're sincere. I'm not talking about you. I've known so many people that they think that because they accepted the Lord in their life, as I said in the other videos, that they do not have to... Um, walk with Jesus daily they don't believe that they they um, have to um, fellowship with the Lord you know eat the word I call it eat the word they don't put their armor on every day they do not um, intercede or pray for people they cuss kick hate and holler and when you state this once saved always saved these people there's someone I love very much and I love this person uh, very much and I stated to this person when you're coming home in other words you know come bold to the throne of grace to attain mercy and ask for forgiveness in the time of need and this person looked me straight in my eyes and said, I'm going to heaven the same as you are. I'm like, not living the way you're living, you're not going to heaven. Oh, yes, I am. Who are you to judge me? I didn't judge you. That's what the Word of God says. He wouldn't have put that in there if you sin. So for a sinner, that is for a child of God. If you sin, come boldly to the throne of grace to attain mercy. I know a lot of people full of bitterness and hate because of things that happen in their lives. I have a lot of people, they get mad at me because I forgive right away and I let it go. And they get very angry at me for it. And they, you're stupid. Why would you forgive them? Because if God forgave me, I got to forgive that person. And I got to take it before the throne and lay it down at his feet. And I got to walk away and never revent it again. You know, eat it and spill it out. Eat it and spill it out. Eat it and spill it out. The people do. I don't do that. When Lord lived me in 90, I was born again in 1969. June 29th. My mother was the first one I ever told. My mother showed me who Jesus was. And the Holy Ghost taught me who Jesus is. Eternity is forever. People are playing with God. Do you remember 9-11? All the churches were filled. But then they went back to their old ways again. And they just ran because they were scared. Now everybody kicked Jesus out of school and he's out kicking him out of the courthouse or kicking him out of everywhere. They don't want, you know, Jesus. That's why the United States of America is falling because people kick God out. They don't want him. But when something happens, he gets the blame for it. Or why didn't God defend us or protect us? I love people so much. I don't want nobody to die and go to hell. Nobody. Neither did Yeshua. He looked into many people's faces when he walked this earth. And he knew where they were going to be. I can't imagine what it done to him. Him and God. That people don't realize God and Jesus everybody talks about the tears will be wiped away I believe that's talking about God Jesus and the Holy Spirit their tears are going to be wiped away when they have to shut that door and Jesus says has to say to his creation depart from me I never knew you because they choose not to know him 
Then you have backslidden. God says, I'm married to the backslider. And what I believe that means is he goes to the backslider and goes to them and sends labors across their path. But if they do not repent, they're not going to make it. But according to you, but according to you, once you get saved, that's it. I mean, you don't have to have a relationship with Jesus to make it into heaven. Yeah, it's by grace we are saved through faith. It is the gift of God. It is a gift. But you are to depart from the world. The, Jesus says, be you separate. You go into the world, but you do not go into their ways. You be separate. You walk away. You stay away. And you come to me. You are not to play with the world's crowd. We are to love. We are to show his love. We are to show his mercy. We are to show his grace. We are to be an example of his kingdom. Now, remember in his own town, Yeshua's hometown, they wouldn't even receive him. They didn't want nothing to do with Jesus. And you probably noticed that of your people that knew you in your life, they probably want nothing to do with you, that you ain't really real because, you know, I mean, Jesus said, they hated me before they hated you. Jesus says, be a fool for my name's sake. I'm proud, I'm, a, I, I'm proud to be a fool for his name's sake. I know Yeshua. I know my Savior. I know my Holy Ghost in me. My God's Spirit dwells in me. I know whom I serve. I know who loves me and protects me and has saved my life so many times. I know my God. We're to know Him. We're in this world, but we're not of it. We are aliens to the world. This world, not the earth. The earth belongs to God. The world is the system of Satan. That's why he says, come out among. Come out from them. Be not as they are. What do you see in the churches today? Rock bands. Same as what is in the secular world. That's the only way we're going to draw the kids. I disagree with that. If I'm wrong, that that's good. That would be great. But sir, if I'm right, and you're going around telling everybody you'll get born again, that's it. You don't have. You're saved forever, no matter what you have done. Yes, He forgiven our sin. He forgave the sinner's sin on Calvary when He shed it on the cross. He forgave their sin. He washed their sins away at Calvary. But we make a choice to follow him. Every man's forgiven and woman and child. We're forgiven. Sin is put under. But what people go to hell over is the rejection of the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you go into the world and you say you were born again, and then you walk away from Jesus. How in the world are you making it back to heaven if you don't repent? Now you explain that one to me. Thank you for your time.